RV Living. Today we're going to do a tour of what we did to winterize our 1988 Grand Villa 4 Travel. We are wintering in the north this year so we needed to do some extra precautions against the cold and the, um, the frigid temperatures. The first thing that we did was put insulation inside of a white tarp and stuffed it in our wheel wells. We also took boards of plywood wrapped them in the same tarp and then put it alongside all four sides of the RV. This will help from help stop the wind from blowing underneath the RV and in, so far it's helped a lot. Our floors are a little bit warmer um, as we're walking through the RV. In the back here you'll see that we covered one of our windows with reflectives to help with the cold air that comes through our bedroom. For some reason we have worse of a problem on this side than we do the other side. We also um, wrapped the door to the engine compartment um, with a tarp to stop the wind from blowing through there because our bed is over the um, engine in the back. We have one area underneath the window that is still a problem area. On the inside of the RV we get a frost line just about every other day or so you can see underneath the window that it's wet so what we do is pull out the, the pillows and just set a fan on the bed and keep that area dry so we don't have any mold um, developing in our RV and so that's what we did so far on the driver's side of the RV we basically did the same thing on the passenger side um, stuffing the wheel wells with insulation and putting up the boards to prevent the wind from going underneath the RV. In the front of the RV what we did was put some rigid foam insulation on the windshield. You can see right here that we used the silver tape to tape it up to the windshield and we put the cover of the windshield back over it so it looks a little bit better. Um, right up here you can see the insulation that we used right there in the corner and also on that side of the RV you can see where we vented out our fireplace. There is where we keep our propane and the yellow buckets we use to hold our wood to keep it nice and dry. Um, now, meanwhile, on the inside of the RV, we didn't do a whole lot to insulate. Um, we did use a moving blanket this year instead of a insulated curtain. We just put three grommets in it and hung it up right over the door and it works wonderfully. We didn't really have to do anything extra with the plumbing or any of the water tank or the um, black tank. The plumbing is all up inside the body of the RV and it runs along the ductwork of the furnace. We do keep track of the temperatures in the back by the bathroom just to make sure it's not getting too cold only because we're not running our furnace as much and we're using our fireplace more. And then our water tank is nice and insulated in the front of the RV. So that's basically what we did this year. The fireplace has been a huge asset to um, keeping us a lot warmer in the winter time. So thank you for watching.